All right, plenty more Twisted Metal, where that came from. Don't even have to switch games, it's Twisted Metal Lost. The other half of the extra twisted edition of Head On. And here's all the lore, which is lies. Well, that part's true. The first sentence is, in 2003, work began on Twisted Metal Harbor City. Or as the first, like, title thing there said, Twisted Metal Black 2. Lost Interchangeably calls this Harbor City and Black 2. Which is why this is appropriate for two months. Because this is what we're going to get of Black 2. It's also the last we're going to get of Black 2 for a bit of a while. This game and uh, Head On are both going to have to be backseated for a short time. They're definitely coming back. I love these games. But these will be the last playthroughs we'll see for a short time. So... We're going to send off Lost in style, which we certainly did not do in Head On. There was a bit of an ignominious conclusion there. For Lost, we're bringing out the big guns, Sweet Tooth. He's a serial killer on the streets of Midtown. This game doesn't take place in Midtown. It takes place in Harbor City. But he is looking for his next victim. He comes from Midtown. Lowercase m, Midtown. This, this whole blurb, for one thing, means absolutely nothing. And for another, is riddled with uh, plot holes. Gaping plot holes. You could drive an ice cream truck through them. His brother, the driver of Yellow Jacket, is trying to kill him. Gonna stop us from killing another innocent. And we wish him luck. Except we are definitely going to kill Lenti. There are no random pedestrians in Lost. So we won't be killing any of those. Maybe everyone we kill will be guilty. Therefore, we actually will be prevented from killing any innocents. Or war dogs. Or Cerberus, for that matter. So, it's Twisted Metal Black style Sweet Tooth. Turns into a mech. It's awesome. Doesn't give us a out of 20 count. I am gonna miss that. There's a uh, yellow jacket to try and stop us. Our vehicular fragility is going to be much less severe than it was in head-on, so I'm going to feel inclined to take some more risks. We are still subject to the penalty of any life we lose. We have to save and return to the main menu in order to get that life back. Is there any music playing right now? Very faintly, maybe. Yeah, there it is. It's just a lot quieter than all the, all the uh, explosions. That's too bad. Music in Lost is pretty good. Most of it. Some of it is perfunctory. But it is abnormally subtle. I guess because the Twisted Metal Black soundtrack is also quite subtle. I was attempting a free shot there. It didn't fire off. I seriously doubt they changed the inputs. So I probably just did them wrong. There's going to be a ton of enemies in every single level. Wood. <laughs> I 
That is some radical graffiti there. The world needs to know about that artist's love of wood. Yeah, the machine gun was shut down for a little while, but as soon as I got it working, one hit KO. What do we have here? Warthog, I think it was. I fear not Warthog. I just figured out why energy moves weren't working. They made them work better in this version of the game. Which is also to say completely differently. Gotta hit two buttons in order to get your energy moves going. No, don't get it. Yes, you failed. That was actually really lucky. Dark side really should have been able to get that health refill. She is no tower tooth. That's for sure. I want to grab all the weapons so that I can see what they look like as they emerge from the vehicle. Pretty sure they just reused all the animations from Twisted Metal Black. To the best of my recollection, this is exactly where it emerged in black. But ricochets look different from how they did in black, so they must appear differently. And this weapon wasn't in black. Which is why it doesn't appear on your vehicle. That makes sense. Yeah, ricochets also do not appear on your vehicle. It is sort of... Come out of nowhere. Don't worry about it. Another one down. All that's left is Outlaw. Should be able to handle Outlaw. Not easily, though. We saw in the Outlaw full playthrough. It is one of the most powerful vehicles in the entire game. And it is almost dead. There we go. No lives lost. Sweet Tooth is extremely powerful, so we have little to worry about. Probably should have done some pizza platforming. Climbed Pizza Tower for my own amusement. Stadium Slaughter. So, this is a level that was in the Harbor City uh, beta. And we'll talk way, way more about its appearance in the beta. But what we need to know is that in the beta, there was a ramp right about here, which led up into the stands. So all of the stands around the uh, stadium here, you could drive up into them for dramatically more drivable area. There's actually a ton of space to explore. Which has intentionally been made inaccessible here in Twisted Metal Lost. Not sure specifically why. I'm guessing 
the AI handled it weirdly. Just having that much space, they would sort of go and get lost. And even when there are so many enemies in the levels, it's a bit too much space for them to deal with. They simply run out of things to do. So they can just wander into a corner and you'll, you won't see them for a super long time. And you'll have to cross a gigantic amount of space to get to them. In the beta footage that I saw, the enemies did not go into the, uh, the stands, even if the player vehicle went in there. They would stay in the stadium area. So it seems like they did not get, um, there's a word for it, the mapping. I've heard it before from speedrunners. They basically just did not program the AI to go into the stands. Which made them boring to have accessible. We have no reason to go there. Might as well use my recharge now. Pathing is a correct term for it. But basically there's an invisible mesh across the entire game that indicates where vehicles are allowed to go. I don't know if this game specifically uses it. It's typically used in games that have very, very simple AI to basically tell the controlled vehicles, computer controlled vehicles and enemies and stuff, where they can and cannot go. And it's something that speedrunners use to stand in a spot that the AI is not allowed to go and essentially be invincible. Bada bother. All the refills here on the on ramp, I guess, should be back. Yep. All both of them. In fact, all the refills in the entire level should be back. Oh, poor Crazy Eight. Never stands a chance. I never played his outlaw in this version of the game, so I don't know if he still has his missiles or whatever. <laughs> we heard bongos for way too long, Wavy Chew. Sorry about that, but uh, people who were present for the bongos had them drilled into their skull. That was probably the longest uh, level that I played in the entire head on playthrough. Grotesquely enough. I am not getting this pickup. Easy as it is to grab. Oh, kill's looking odd. I feel like he's not normally this green. Lighting's a bit different here in Lost compared to Black. And head on, for that matter. I don't even know why I would save this, but I will. Sure. I've got all my lives left. So we are pretty much all set. For the final level. So this is another level that was sort of present in the Harbor City beta. 
but the other half of it is what is accessible. You can't go to the carnival, but you can see it from part of one of the other levels. Because this level was originally, like, twice the size. And when they put it into Lost, they made a large portion of it inaccessible. And in Harbor City, you can go there. However, we won't be going there when I play Harbor City. Harbor City actually has three leaked beta versions. And one of them is very, very unplayable, but is much more complete than all the other ones. I cannot play the most complete version. And that's the one that has the other half of this level and uh, all that cool stuff. The ability to drive through the rest of the stadium. So fortunately, we're seeing these levels right now. Hell yeah, Pizzerato. Who doesn't love an ice cream cone? We're seeing these levels right now, so we Who doesn't love an won't ice have to see cone? the uh, shoddy, incomplete versions Who doesn't love an ice cream cone? in the Harbor City prototype. Who doesn't love an ice cream cone? And we're having a good stream in terms of numbers. So much in terms of gameplay performance. Eh, I'm probably being too hard on myself there. Hammerhead barely died throughout the entirety of his playthrough. And that is our first Sweet Tooth death. If I kill, like, two or three of these enemies, we will not suffer a further death. But they are being quite aggressive. And I'm still doing button inputs to uh, do energy moves. Button inputs that do nothing. This is the one track in the game, the music track, that I consider to be quite bad. I believe it is a remix of one of the Twisted Metal Black songs, but like... Only a very small portion of it looped endlessly. Doing it no justice whatsoever. I haven't killed a single enemy let yet. But they're gonna start dropping like flies eventually. Unless they go grind health refills. I might have took a uh, wrong turn. And Slaughter could die instantly. I recall him being at red health. There we go. He beat me up pretty bad, so good riddance there. Did he have weird sound effects? I did just hear a weird sound effect from whatever move an enemy did there. There might actually be sound effect glitches occurring. This level in particular is very, very buggy. Haven't seen in, uh, any enemies go out of bounds yet. But if they do, this run is over. I always talk about it, and it never happens on recording. That is for the best. I will continue to talk about it. The commentator curse myself to never show it off. Because I don't want to show it off. Ah, uh, frozen. To ruin my special. Oh, that's right. You transform back while shielded. Your shield maintains the shape of your transformation. That was very unfortunate, but I do have an extra life. 
And most of the enemies are nearing demise. Seems like when I get frozen, I keep my usage of the special. Which is a convenience that most other Twisted Metals do not afford you. Lost, you're too kind. But please stop freezing me. Another one down. Gonna have to be very careful with my lives. Because I have none. So I should get health refills instead. Maybe there should be life pickups. Just extra lives lying around on the field. It's never happened in any Twisted Metal, but it's not the worst idea. I don't like that arrow. Okay. He was just hiding in a weird corner. He was not actually out of bounds. Chasing Mr. Grimm is so futile. Not a good idea. Confusing him into actually trying to fight you is a good idea, though. Get back here, Crazy 8. Kill you very rapidly if you weren't much faster than me. It is starting to feel like Sweet Tooth is ridiculously slow in this version. I remember being actually pretty fast in most of the uh, other games, Black included. So who do we have here? Oh, 12 pack. I haven't seen 12 pack this entire level. Full pack, close to useless, unfortunately. Poor guy. Not gonna beat Sweet Tooth any day. But, boy, is he ever cute. Um. So here's our big ending. We don't have the means to translate it right now, so... Just gonna skip it and head to the death port. after we go through the title screen. Nice celebratory death port visit. Itch is in challenge mode. Could bring out some gold tooths. Frankly, I could bring out all gold tooths if I wanted to lose. The problem with 12-pack is that his reticle special takes 10 full seconds to fully charge. The reticle in Twisted Metal Black takes 5 seconds to charge, so twice as long. And Lost gives you a lot of HP compared to Head On, but still much less HP than Black does. So you really can never afford 10 straight seconds standing perfectly still. Or even just like holding the same relative area so that you can maintain lock on so that the reticle actually charges. It's a bad special for that vehicle. And worse than a regular pickup in the base game. Bizarre choices made. The 12 pack there. It's like they did not want it to be good. Wanted the world to forget about Severed Sam and his headless plight. Everyone's going in the water. It's a warm summer day 
here in mid-February. It was an abnormally warm February 14th, so the children walked home without jackets. That might be the only Simpsons reference that people might not get. Because it's a reference to the clip show that everyone hates in Season 6. Deep cut. Not a lot of those. The Simpsons universe. Uh, there are no health refills up on top of the ship. So no good reason to be here. And I miss Goldtooth. We're just gonna stand and shoot at each other. Good old-fashioned duel. He's gone. And... I'm not. That was a bit of a miracle. That sucks, though. Ah, Muscled out of the health refill. And then sniped. Well. Nothing much to do about that except get back on the horse. Super irritating behavior pattern. It's the fact that we're both extremely slow vehicles that caused that to happen. If that were a faster opponent, they would have just slid past me effortlessly and not gotten me stuck on the wall, which is what caused me to still be vulnerable to attack after the health refill had been claimed. It's the worst case scenario of everything converging against me. But Goldtooth has been avenged, only to be killed again, moments from now. Admittedly long moments. Killing Goldtooth takes a super long time. I've already started the process, but it is still well within green HP. Warthog wanted to duel for a while. I did oblige. Starting to regret it. Can't get that without turbo. Can't get that without turbo. I can't get any health refills without turbo. And I'm seeing an exact repeat. But it played out differently. Too much horse this time. I slide over? Absolutely not. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't do anything in this level without turbo. I think definitely made Sweet Tooth slower than he was in black. Very weird feeling vehicle now. Special is very slightly more balanced. Just the tiniest bit. Twisted Metal Black style Thumper. Thumper is inherently very colorful. So I don't know what they would do about that. The metal black is not permitted to be colorful. If it were, it would be in the colorful world. This is an entirely different universe. Incompatible without a black. Also can't really imagine what a grim and gritty bumper story would be like. So yeah, that is one of the worst candidates 
or introduction to the dark world. It's certainly an interesting thought experiment. If you have any artists that are more creative than me, draw up your sketch of what Lumber would look like in Twisted Metal Black. Well, we got a link in chat that I can't reasonably click on. Maybe I will once I beat this level. They really make shields take a lot of energy. Okay, another one down. Only one left. I think Brimstone's on kind of low health. Probably handle him. Might hear some helium or pence along the way, but no, he's gone. We did it. Good work. Sweet tooth. You've conquered your own nightmare world. So. Oh yeah. A Twisted Metal Black style thumper. Called Gangsta Lowrider. Unfortunately. But otherwise that's pretty cool looking. I will, I guess, link that in uh, the video description as I don't have a means to put it on screen right now. And chat can pick it up. Just as I have. But that is not relevant to what we've done today. That's tangentially relevant we were just playing Twisted Metal Lost. But we're about to see what Thumper would actually look like in Twisted Metal Black 2, because Thumper is playable in the Harbor City prototype, which is what we're going up against next. So that is coming right up. See you soon for that mess. For now, Twisted Metal Lost is concluded. Thank you for watching.